On this episode of the Weekend Mish, we're kayaking across a glacial lake with icebergs and we're doing a car catch and cook. We cannot wait. And yet again, we've got Nick and Kyle, the Aussie boys, coming on this mish, showing us how to properly cook our food because we suck at cooking. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Sea kayak in tow. Oh, a couple of brutal Ks. This is not where sea kayaks belong, but it's where we're putting them. All right, so we want to get from here to there. Now, the obstacles are the icebergs out to our left and then the uh, flowing river down to our right there. So we've got to kind of shoot the gap in through here and we should be safe as we need to punch up into some of these spaces. You beauty. What's going on, mate? Bro, we are now on the glacier lake in the middle of the icebergs. This is probably top three things I've ever done in my life. This is so sick. Water is ice cold, living the freaking dream. Let's get it. This is sick. All the boys on the kayaks. First and over, me and Kyle. Yay team. Yay team. Hell yeah. Let's do it. All right, so we're across the other side now. Um, just from a safety perspective, it was all good. It's pretty much waist high the whole way across, so we were chilling and um, yeah, just what a beautiful, beautiful place to be. All right, so whilst this is a catch and cook video, we're still gonna be staying within the confines of our ethics. So that's pretty simply just looking for a mature male animal of any species or potentially a nanny tar and maybe, maybe a shimmy doe. But yeah, it's bloody epic. We're out here to get a feed and maybe find a trophy while we're at it. Right, well, we've crossed the lake. Um, we've got to our first glassing spot. We've picked up a couple of bulls right up high in the snow, which is pretty epic. But Gabe has just picked up some nannies and a bull low down the scrub, which is exactly what we we're hoping for. Now, we're just going to give him a bit of an assess and see how he is, but waiting for the boys to get here and we'll make a plan. And we might just go for them because we are chasing a nanny as well. So. This could be a very good opportunity for us. But look at that first glassing spot, picked up some animals. How freaking sick. All right, so we've decided to put a stalk in on this tar. We are doing a catch and cook, and uh, a few nanny tar would be absolutely perfect for that. So we're gonna make a bit of a plan. Likely we'll sneak along the valley floor, hugging the face quite close until we get into range. So. Yeah, we're bloody excited and uh, hopefully we can pull this one off. Oh, we just had a climb getting to the shooting position and um, we've just spotted a nanny, so we're gonna go and get a perfect spot and try and get a shot away. Kyle's on rifle this time. How oh, good. Sweet, so me and Nick have just stayed back. Gabe and Kyle have gone ahead with the rifle. We've seen the two nannies beat it down about 150, 200 yards away. So the nannies that we were keen to have a crack at have moved away, but there's still a really young bull up here. And uh, since there's a lot of tar in here, we're fully all good to go ahead and uh, take a really, really young bull. All right. Can you see it in there? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. On the back of his shoulder. Yeah, that's fine if you're at the back of his shoulder. You're all good to shoot. Let us know if you're gonna shoot though. Yeah, yeah, that's a hit. I'll go down. Oh, there's a nanny there. There's a nanny there. Light up. Oh yeah, I got her. Oh yeah, I got her too. Yep. Go for it. Hurt. Yeah, yeah, hurt it. Well hurt, well hurt. Nah, and she's dead. Yeah, she's down too. <laughs> oh, well done, lads. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, good yeah. stuff, mate. Oh, yes, God. how good's that? Good car, eh? You! Well good. done, lad. Man, what's going on? What a ride. Oh, got, oh. got the shakes. Yeah, that's wicked, eh? Oh, that's so sick. the hunting tar in an incredible country. Oh, wow. That is... Incredible. Couldn't have played out better, hey? Yeah, good stuff, lads. So sick. Fairy tale. Oh, well, how good's that? We've bloody done it, eh? Two tar on the deck. Beautiful one or two-year-old bull for Kyle. And uh, 
I smoked a nanny. First nanny in a while. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, yeah. these lads are going to do something seriously delicious with these tar, so stay tuned for later on in this episode. And um, we're not done. We have plenty more hunting to do, and we're just frizzing. This is right, awesome. here's the deal. The two tar we shot are in here, but we've got this absolute hell hole to get through before we can recover them. So we're going to have to climb high, around on the top of the waterfall, recover the two tar, and then hopefully climb down this much nicer place. Well, what do you know? Hunting tar has got me on all fours. Calling through Metagary tunnels. Oh, and Gabe is touching my ass. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, what, do you, what do you think of Spaniards? Um, they're really bad. <laughs> they really hurt. Riding from zero to 10? Oh, I reckon it'd be up there, around a eight to nine. Eight to nine? Yeah. Cane ratio? Mm. Yeah, yeah I kind of enjoy the tingle a little bit, <laughs> but overall, overall, yeah, they're pain in the ass. <laughs> this guy's freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, oh, well, we're on the face that uh, the tire was shot. We've just analyzed the footage, and uh, we think we know exactly the bush that they were shot right below, so they're about 20 meters away when you go down, and uh, find these tar, which is pretty cool. Let's get into it, eh? Buddy, wicked! Oh, sick. How sick's that, eh? Oh, so, so sick. Thanks, mate. Bloody get this down. Oh, fuck yeah. We um, all agreed at the start of this kind of six days of hunting that we'd stick within the confines of our ethics, despite the fact that we're doing a catch and cook. And uh, we've done exactly that. A one, one and a half year old bull, absolutely fine to take in an area um, with this high density. We've also shot a nanny. So um, we are so, so stoked. Well done, mate. So Thanks, sick. Brother. Yeah, brother. Well done. <laughs> so good. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. Good stuff, so, boys. What do you know? Stuck, stuck, stuck. We had a couple goals today, and uh, we've achieved them. So that is bloody fantastic. Two tar. First tar. Well done, brother. Hey, brother. What do you reckon? It's been a pretty... We've had to work for these, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they made us work for it, but it's all worth it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Unlocked a new species for me, so pretty stoked with that. That's so sick, eh? Yeah, I can't wait to um, get these back. We're going to take out a lot of meat, and um, oh, stay tuned. There is a lot to come in this episode. We're cooking up an absolute feast, so, so sick. Shot, bro. I'm hungry. Good stuff. <laughs> down, down. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you <laughs> Once again, we're doing absolutely no work. <laughs> They said if we want to sleep at the hut tonight, we had to do this. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. exactly right. Yeah. How good. <laughs> good shit. We are just uh, chipping across along the plains here and uh, on way back to the yaks to get across and get out of here. Bloody good. My heads. Good. Yeah, boys. Hey, what do you hey. reckon? Man, such a sick day. Like, it starts off with an adventure here behind Gabe here, <laughs> crossing this. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping this in. We're keeping this in. <laughs> Paddling across this glacier lake and then, yeah, glassing up, spotting uh, some a bull tar and a nanny and and then sending it up the hill. Oh yeah. Pretty epic day, hey? Yeah, that's without a doubt the sickest start to a recipe I've ever experienced. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's good stuff. Yeah. Oh well. Home time, mate. Yeah. Let's see you. Yeah, brother. Final trip. Docking. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get in with some butter. In with two brown onions. Okay, sweet. So we've got some tar meat here. We're just dicing it up into sort of one inch cubes here to, uh, yeah, brown off and whack in the curry. Sweet. So the onions had about maybe five or so minutes just to sweat down in that butter. Now we're gonna add our ginger and garlic. So I'm going for a heat tablespoon. Just throw that in, and we're gonna give it another couple of minutes just to sweat down and infuse with that flavor. Now we're gonna flavor it up with our spices. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of garam masala. The Weekend Mish Boys self-reported aren't a big fan of spice, so just a heap teaspoon of um, chili flakes. And then this is what gives the curry that beautiful 
color. We're gonna go with a heap teaspoon worth of turmeric. Sweet, so we're just gonna go throw in two tins of tomatoes. Give that a stir around. Sweet, so we're just gonna throw some stock in. You can use whatever stock you want, but so that we can really taste the tar, I'm gonna use some vegetable stock. All right, sweet, so we're just gonna whack these tar cubes into the pan and brown them off. Sweet, so these are nice and browned off now. We're just gonna whack them straight into the curry. Head chef might have overfilled the pot. <laughs> Fired. <laughs> so we're just going to add a little bit of lemon zest. I'm going to microplane in two of these lemons and then we're going to cook this down for about three or so hours. I have actually never cooked a tar curry before, but I'm thinking with that shoulder and leg meat in about three plus hours, it should be really soft and tender. So we'll check back in after a couple of bevies. <laughs> Sweet, so the curry's had about four hours. With bull tar, I've noticed it needs a lot of cooking. So we're probably going to give this another half an hour just on the simmer. We're going to put some cream in. So just to finish off the tar masala, we're gonna put in about 300 mils of fresh cream. So we've just had this on low, just reducing down with that cream in there, and it's had about another hour. So about five hours in total, and it's ready to roll. It's tasting so good. So we're gonna get some of this rice in a bowl. And then I've got some naan breads here that we made. There you have it. It's a beautiful bull tar tikka masala. Beautiful, mate. All right, boys, so it's all finished. We've got our bull tikka masala. Have a crack, I wanted to taste oh, test. Let's yeah. go. Rip a bit of that naan bread off. And you just send it, eh? Send it. Beautiful bit of naan. Mmm. Give, give it a try, too, Wrap it up. Wow, man. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. skill and gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Memories flying back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, cheers. Yeah, oh, cheers. <laughs> 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 Made it happen. Yeah. First ball, eh?